Hey all, this is George. Let me just set my timer because this is going to be a timer workout and there's not going to be any music. There we go. Hey, welcome. This is George. This is Cardio Flex and Stretch. I hope you're all doing well. And I thought maybe you might be looking for something different and you, well, almost everyone has a jump rope that, let's face it, we never use. I rarely use mine. But when I do use it, I always think to myself, my goodness, what a great workout, cheap, easy to carry around, and if nothing else, I can do a little bit of it. And it's good for agility. And it's also good for that shock absorption, which our bones need to maintain their strength. Um, anybody can do this workout. You don't even need a rope, but I'm gonna guide you through it, hopefully, if you do have a rope. One thing you want to note, and it doesn't matter what kind of rope you have, whether it's leather or cheap plastic like mine, is about how long it should be. Roughly, a guide is step on it, and you want to be able to hold the handles at your armpits right there. So if it's higher, which mine was, I tied some knots in it, just like that. So I don't know if you can see that very well, but some knots on both ends. And I actually tied two tight knots because I found that as I jumped, it was starting to tighten on its own and it was getting longer than it needs to. And it might be after a few, you figure out exactly how much more you want to do. You might put, tie a third knot, all right? Um, like I said, you don't need a jump rope. You can do the movements without the rope. Some things to think about though is less is more when it comes to jump rope. We all make the mistake, I do too, of wanting to jump real high because we gotta clear that rope. Well, the rope is just that high, that thick, so you don't have to jump very high. So it's relatively a low impact exercise. It's this, essentially. It's that motion right there. What makes it just incredibly intense for a cardio workout is the number of reps of that that you're doing. Unlike say the knee lifts, I did now four jumps in the time it took me to do a knee lift up and down. So it's that repetitiveness and just, there's just so many of them. You're doing thousands and thousands and thousands of jumps in just the space of a few minutes. All right, um, what else to tell you? You wanna just stand tall. You don't wanna arch your back. You want to also just keep your elbows close to your sides. It's not a big motion like you're going to include someone else in the rope. All right, so it's just right here. We are going to take it easy. We're going to warm up first, and then we're going to we're warm up with the rope if you've got one. And then we're going to do intervals starting off at 15 seconds on, 15 seconds rest. And you're going to say, wow, that's a long rest, but trust me, you're going to want that. And then we might increase it. I'm gonna show you hopefully a variety of different jumps you can do. Uh, so you can mix it up and not get bored. And after we do the jump, we're gonna start doing some strength work with weights. So if you have some weights nearby or a tube, you can use your tube. I was thinking of doing an interval of rope, weights, rope, weights like that, but I thought it might be a little chaotic to try today, maybe another day. So just take your rope right now and you're just gonna hold it up. Now we're just going to go into some squats just to start warming up your limbs and this will open up your upper body as you go up and down. We're just going to do about 30 seconds of this. Just squat up and down nice and easy. You determine what depth you want to go in your squat. Now the other thing is I want you to jump softly as if you've got neighbors beneath you, okay? And you want to just like minimize the disruption to their life. We just have Couple more seconds of this. All right, you're gonna stop here and then you're gonna go up and around and then down again. Up and around and down again. You should feel that in the torso. And let your legs just move naturally with that. Your feet don't have to stay completely down. And then we're gonna reverse it. We're gonna go the other way. All right, so we're gonna go down, up and around. If you've been sitting all day, this probably feels kind of good. All right, last one. Open up and then bring it down with your shoulders. Guys. Just want you to do some easy kicks, side to side. Just kick, make sure you're not kicking anybody or anything, unless they deserve it. There's always someone around that deserves a good kick, don't you think? 
that make it a low kick. Most of our movements are going to be low. I'm going to show you some things that will get more intense with the high movement. Or you're going to just kick back a little bit. Now, just an easy swing. I don't want you to hurt your low back. You're just going to swing. And then you're going to just take that heel up to the rear. Just do some leg curls like that. Let me turn sideways. And take your rope. Just hold it, double it, quadruple it. Just swing with it. Keep that upper body warm. You could do it to music, it's not a bad idea, but I decided today the music might be too much of a driving force for us. And then I'm going to turn a little bit with it. You might be saying, why am I warming up the upper body? It's going to get involved, even though it's not going to be doing big movements. All right. And then just do some easy knee lifts. And then the thing we're going to focus on in a moment are our calves, because they are the first front line of this exercise, of this movement of jump roping. So you're going to probably feel this in your calves a lot. And make sure you're wearing shoes. I didn't even mention that, but make sure you're wearing shoes. You're not doing this barefoot. You don't want to necessarily do it on concrete or tile. So if you have a yoga mat, something about that thickness, it'd be good to do it on. All right, so then turn to the side. Let's start getting into that calf. So you're going to just roll and roll back and forth. Roll and roll. So you should feel it one calf when you do that. And now we're going to go up and down and feel it in the other calf. Up and down. Notice I'm not letting go of this rope. I want to make sure this rope knows who the boss is. Let's do a few more of those. And if sometime during the workout you need to go back and just get rid of that cramping in your calf, if it happens, just do this. And let's go to the other side. We're going to go side, forward, and back, forward, and back. Always want to do a warm up, no matter what it is. If I'm going to stretch, I'm going to warm up first. I've got to get my joints loose. I've got to get my muscles a little warmer in order to make everything move more fit, effectively and efficiently. All right, so now let's focus just on that calf. You're going to go up and down on it. I don't want you to give up either. Just if you say, I can't do this, I can't. Yes, you can. You just may not be able to do it right now, but I want you to keep going. And you can do it without the rope. You can do every one of these movements without a rope. All right. All right, so then let's just get into your hamstrings a little bit. You're going to switch this time, alternating your hamstrings. This is a dynamic stretch. And apparently this one wants to be in the picture again. Or well, maybe she doesn't. The other one's occupied. All right, one more on each side. And then we're going to warm up our little back with just some cats and cows. All right, and then let's, I want to warm up your wrist. So just think of your wrist just making circles in one direction. or two different directions, I guess it is, when it's one right is going one way, one left is going the other way, and then reverse it. I'm going to make sure she's in her bed before I start jumping. I don't want to accidentally hit her. The other one's in his crate, enjoying a bone. All right, shake everything out. So, like I said, you don't need a rope. But it's just a bouncy movement like that. And from the side, that's how much it is. All right? So if you've got one, go ahead and make sure it's the right height. Like I told you, you know, step on it. Hands about at the armpit. Tie knots in it like I have, just to try to get it into that place. Let's call this first set our practice set. So it's a rehearsal. So keeping it's going to be, it's just a bounce jump. Just easy bounce. You can see that my arms are barely doing anything. It's all in my wrist. 
Sweetie, come on, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Now let's just do a few more revolutions. And it's going to get stuck like that. Matt, it's not a problem. We're not entering a contest. All right, how did that feel? So when I'm in my rest, I always want to be an active rest. So I'm going to be moving back and forth or side to side in that 15 seconds. I'm going to give us 30 seconds before we really start. And we're going to do that bounce. 15 seconds on, 15 seconds of active recovery. Back and forth, forward and back, whatever you want to do. All right? And 15 more seconds. So, prepare, and if you can't go the whole 15 seconds, just continue to bounce. In three, two, go. Again, just a soft movement, neighbors below, stay tall. All movements only at the wrist, and bounce in the feet. Three, two, one, and rest. And again, you're just moving around. I'm going to actually add some big movements to counteract the small movements happening in my calf. You can already hear my breathing. Get ready. Three, two, one. So we'll do four sets of this bounce, and then I'll show you another one. And rest. And the only way to get better jump roping is just by doing it more, seriously. In three, two, go. Three, two, one. So we got one more 15 second one to go. And then you get a little break. And then we're gonna try a new movement. Which is, I forgot what it was. Oh yeah. Ready, go. Whoops. And done. All right, take a break. So what I'm going to now do is do forward and backward 15 seconds. Same bounce, just giving it some movement, making our body move. You ready? Go. Eyes straight ahead if you can. And walk it out. 15 second rest. We're going to do that three more times. Four, three, two, go. I'm still continuing even if I don't have my rope moving with me. I don't want to lose the momentum here and rest. So there. When it doesn't happen, just keep the movement. So we got two more rounds of the forward and backward movement. In three, two, go. One more. So these are all two-footed movements. Except, of course, when we're recovering. In three, two, one, go. One more time. And march it out. Good. All right, so we're going to take that two-footed movement and turn it into an out-in, out-in. Like a jack, but without that same kind of jamming down, all right? 
Ready, go. So you go out, in, out, in, out. You see it's a smaller jack. Keep going out, in, out, in. And march it out. I'm gonna stay right here. Notice I always start with it behind me. Three, two, go. Out and in, out and in. And march it out. You might notice that there's this tendency when you feel like you're losing control to make it bigger. You want to do just the opposite. You want to make it smaller, smaller. In three, two, go. Small, small. And march it out. One more to go. And then you will have learned six different things. Really? No, four different things. Get ready, go. Whoops, it's six minutes. Small movement. And march it out. Good. Take a little break if you need to. Water, towel, whatever you want. Don't change that back channel. All right, we're going to go to our next round, which is single leg stuff. So you're going to hop from foot to foot. Hop from foot to foot. This is one you probably might be more accustomed to doing, but again, I want to encourage you to make it small. Excuse me. I'm going to take 45 more, no. 35 more seconds. If you want to practice the movement, it's, it's merely that for 15 seconds. And we'll do it four times. In 15 seconds. 10. 5. Four, three, two. Maybe start off with bounces and then add it. So single foot landings. And march it out or we'll walk it out. We're going to do that three more times. So each of these things we're doing four times until we feel like there's at the beginning of mastering the movement. Being a good girl. You ready? Same thing. Alternating legs. Small, small, small. And march it out. Are you starting to feel that wind? I am. So two more of these. Get ready and go. Oops. And keep going till I finish it. And march it out. We got one more. Then we're gonna go back to that double bounce. I'll show you why in a second. Ready? Go. Great. So we did the double already. We went forward and back. Now we're going to go side to side on the double. In four, three, 
two. So start with just a double, and go sideways, four hops, and the other way, four hops. And march it out. Good, keep going. We'll do that three more times. Again, I always start with just my double bounce anyway. Three, two, go. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, and march it out. I think I was a little too eager to go further. I need to make sure I don't compromise my roping, my jumping for my ego. You ready? Three, two, go. And march it out. Good. Got one more to go. Then we're gonna go back to that single one, but we're gonna go Single, single, double. Single, single, double. And I'll show you what I mean. Get ready, go. And march it out. So you get a rest here. I'm gonna introduce you to the next one. It goes. Single, single, double, single, single, double. All right, again, keep it small. Ready? Go. Single, single, hold. Well, I should say hold, not double. Single, single, hold. Single, single, hold. Single, single, hold. And march it out. Whew. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Or are you getting frustrated? Do the ones you already know. Do the ones you think you want to try again. Get ready, go. And march it out. We're gonna do that one two more times. And then we get another minute break. I hope you're doing good. Get ready, go. Single, single, double. Whoops, better look at the clock. And march it out. One more time. Three, two, go. Single, single, double. And march it out. Good. You got a minute and 15. Our next one is like the singles, but it's a higher knee. All right, then the second one is gonna be butt kickers. Take your time, maybe use the opportunity to drink some water. If your calf is feeling it, stretch your calf. Try to stay in motion if you don't need to do any of that so your heart rate doesn't go down too much. This is a high intensity training workout. Just a different tool and different time frames. 15, 15 and 15, 15 on, 15 off. You have 20 more seconds and then we go to the high knee one. And I'll preview it before we actually start. 15 more seconds. And again, it's gonna be for 15 seconds. This is what it looks like. When you're ready, four, three, two, join. Keep going. 
Don't let the rope stop you. Keep going. And march it out. We'll do that three more times. And three, two, start with that double foot. Go. Two more times. Are you happy that you got this far? Get ready. Go. And march it out. So there's still two constants. Constants. It's all wrist, elbows close to my body, soft landing. Got two more to go. No, one more to go. Get ready, go. Oops. And march it out. You can see how that one was the most intense one so far because you're taking your legs higher in a greater range. Next one are butt kickers. Heels come to the butt. Again, if you want to do something else, that's fine. Go. Five more seconds. And done. Dad. Movement during the 15 second recovery. Always active. Three, two, go. And if you got hit it the first time, that's all right. You can see that it's not always an easy one. And march it out. Good, two more of those to go. Go back to one you want to do if you if I'm doing one that you just said, uh-uh, not today, that's fine. Get ready. Go. Woo. I want to keep moving. Now we're about the rope. March it out. One more with that butt kicker. Get ready in three, two, go. Butt kick, butt kick. Keep kicking. Keep kicking. March it out, good. Get a minute, 15 second rest. I want you now, for your next one, to pick something you think you can do for 30 seconds. So we're gonna push for duration here, rather than skill. Pick something you can do, with the rope or not, 30 seconds effort, as good as you can do, rope or no rope. You saw me bag out of the rope when I realized, ah, I just got a few more seconds, I'm gonna just keep doing what I was doing. And then we'll get 30 seconds rest. 30 seconds rest is always moving around. All right, you have 30 more seconds of this rest. So we're really doing those peaks and valleys in your heart rate to burn more calories, 20 more seconds. So I'm gonna start off with my double foot bounce. I feel most comfortable with that. That's the one I'm gonna start with. Maybe my second one, I'll do something different. So we'll start in eight seconds for 30 seconds on. In three, two, go. Small movement, neighbors below, erect body, 
just do this. Ten more seconds. Thirty seconds rest. Did you do it? I bet you did. So the next one, do it the same way if you want. You could add the motion forward and back, or side to side if you want to stay with the double foot. So bump, 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 whatever you feel comfortable with. You have 10 more seconds before we begin it. You ready? I know you are, I know you are. In three, two, go. 30 seconds. Whoops. I'm gonna go forward and back on this one. Fifteen more seconds. I'm going to keep going, whether the rope is gone or not. Five more seconds. Three, two, done. Good. We're going to do another one. Again, do whatever you feel like you want to do. I'm going to go sideways on this one because that's the one that tripped me up first. I'm gonna tell it who's boss. 15 more seconds. But I might surrender to and go to one I already know. So I'll keep up my cardio effect. In three, two, go. 30 seconds. Twenty more seconds. Ten more seconds. And watch it out. All right, we're going to do another one. Thirty seconds. Let's do two more rounds. I'm going to do the jumping jack on this one. It's one of my favorite ones, anyway. In 10 seconds, keep moving. Four, three, two. Do whatever you feel like. Go, 30 seconds. Whoa, keep going, 15 more seconds. Right. All right. I hope you're doing good. Can we do another one? I bet we can. I bet we can. 20 more, 15 more seconds of rest. Again, do whichever one you feel like. I'm going to do the high knee one because that really kicked my heart rate up. And I really want to go there. I want to boss it around now. In three, two, Go, 30 seconds. Whoops. you want to do. That means one more minute. 30 seconds on, 30 second rest. I've got 10 more seconds. Decide what you want to do. I'm going to go to my single hop, alternating legs. In three, two, go. So smaller, the knees don't come up as high.
15 more seconds. Five more seconds. March it out. Last one. I said one more minute. I meant one more minute of work. Not one more minute of 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of recovery. I wasn't clear. I need to talk like a lawyer. 15 more seconds. Maybe I'll do something a little different. I haven't some kicks, but low kicks. And five. Last one, totally. Three, two, go. using a rope. I want to cool down with you a little bit and then we're going to do some strength work. So just step touch side to side. I want to do a motion we haven't done. All our motion has been mainly in front. So I want to do stuff side to side a little bit. Let your heart rate come down. If you're not going to participate, you need to go to your bed. What am I going to do? The kids today. All right, I want your heart rate to come down. Then we're gonna grab some weights and do some rows, hip hinge rows. If you have a tube, grab that tube instead. And I showed you in a couple different classes how to anchor it on something to turn it into a row. You need to have an anchor to pull something this way instead of just across your chest because you got to have this anchor in front. Give me just eight more seconds of rest here. Active rest. Okay, go to your bed. Go to your bed. Good girl. Good girl. Get in the bed. All right. Grab your weights. If you have two sets, this is a heavy set exercise. You're going to hinge forward. We're only going to do one set of a two arm row. You want to get those back muscles involved. Everything is now all heated up. So you hinge forward from the hip. Your back stays straight. You keep it as straight as you can until you get to parallel or somewhere close to it. And you can bend these knees. You're going to pull back and right back down. Pull on the diagonal. So we're going to go pulling up. We're going to do it for one minute starting now. So pull and release. And pull. So you don't want to be up here, you want to be hinged, keeping that upper back straight. Think of sending your chest forward. If there's a little arch in your low back, that's fine. You just don't want to emphasize it too much. Breathe and keep the neck nice and even with the rest of the spine, not dropping the chin, not raising the face. Keep going. It's a little over 30 seconds. You should start to feel this between the shoulder blades. I'm imagining I'm getting my shoulder blades to say hello to each other behind my back. You have 15 more seconds. Keep going. And I hope you haven't left because we haven't stretched your legs. One more rep should do it. There we go. You can put the weights down for a second. Do a good cat stretch to stretch out your low back. All right, I'm gonna grab these, put them on your shoulders if you can. We're gonna go into a set of squats for one minute, and we're gonna go four counts down, four counts up, starting now for one minute. Four, three, two, one, and slowly. Four, three, two, one. Try to keep your speed consistent. Four, three, two, one. Four, three, two, one. I'm keeping that head up. Going. Good. You go to whatever depth you feel like you can, but you don't want to go so far down that your heel comes up in the back like this. I'm going to keep it down. And again, four, three, 
two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Twenty more seconds. Four, three, two, one, four, three, two, one. Ten seconds. Up, two, three, four, one more. Just a I know we're going beyond that minute, but that's all right. Oh, good. And you're going to take those weights off if you were using weights. And we're going to do some push-ups. You can do them on a desk, a table, something immovable, or you can do them on the floor. We're going to do it for one minute. You can do it on your knees. We're going to go down three counts and up on one. All right, find that handstand. Weight shifts forward on the toes or knees. Body's in a plank, and here we go. Three, two, one, push. 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 Three, two, one. That's thirty seconds. Three, two. Two more should do it. Three, two, one. Push. Three, two, one. And push. All right. Good job. So we're going to give your upper body a break and do a one leg. I'm sorry, do a deadlift. You can use weights if you wish. You certainly don't have to. You can use one weight. I'll just use one so I can demonstrate. Yeah, I'm going to turn sideways. So in this one, feet just about hip width, whatever's comfortable. You almost want to lock your knee, but not quite. You're going to hinge, keep your back straight, go as far as you can until your back wants to do this, and that's where you stop. And then you're going to push your feet in the ground to make you come back up. All right? If I said squeeze your butt, you're not going to be able to, but if I said push your feet in the ground, you're going to make a footprint, your butt's going to activate. One minute. You ready? Go. Choose the speed you want. If you need to bend your knees because your low back is feeling pretty tight, that's fine. And then real tall at the top. So keeping the back straight, hinging at the hip, and then I push my feet in the ground to help me start the ride back up. Okay. Down. And you can check out in the mirror, trying to keep my back as straight as possible, not even letting my shoulders round forward. Pushing the feet into the ground. That's 30 seconds. Oh, push, 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 push. And again. Oh, I bet we could get two more of these. If you need to bend your knees, that is fine. And one more. And back up. And if you need to stretch your low back, feel free. It is a low back exercise as much as it is a hamstring exercise, as much as it's a mid-back exercise, a calf exercise. So really all the muscles from the neck down to the heel are activated in that exercise. People call it a core exercise. It's core in the sense that it's involving your low back. But there isn't much happening here. And there shouldn't be. That shouldn't be the focus. All right, we're going to do a set of biceps. So if you got some weights, grab your weights. If you got a tube, step on that tube. All right? We're going to go two counts up, four counts down. So we'll go up, up, and then four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two. Just doing it for a minute. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two. Working that negative. Up, up, four, three, two, one. 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 Up, up, four, three, two, one
four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, 30 more seconds. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Two more should do it. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, one. You can put your weights down. We're gonna do a squat. You're just gonna hold it for a minute. Your hands can be here, behind your head, on your hips, or behind your back. Just would not do it out there because one tires out the shoulder and it shifts your weight forward. So find a different position. You ready? You're gonna hold it. You can start in this position, which is the hardest, and then every 15 minutes change your arms. I'll tell you what every 15 seconds is, so if you want to do that, you can. And you're going as deep as you can to hold. That's, 30 sec uh, that's 15 seconds. I'm trying to really be still. I know the thighs are burning. That's another 15 seconds. You can keep your arms there. Behind your back if you want. Ooh, that shifted the weight back a little bit, didn't it? And now 15 seconds more to go. Are you happy? Think about something else besides your thighs burning. In four, three, two, and one. Come up slowly. Ooh. We're going to do a one-arm tricep overhead press. So grab a weight. If you've got a tube, you could step on it and then step forward and do it. Like you'd step on it with that foot. All right. So, and in fact, if you're doing it with a weight, you might even want to do a little step forward just to take the stress off your back. For one minute, one arm. You ready? And go. We're going to work the negative here. We're going to go down four, three, two, and push up for two counts. Up, up. Four, three, two, one. Up, up. Four, three, two, one. Up. This is our last exercise, and then we stretch. Four, three, two, one. Of course, we have to do the other arm. Four, three, two, one. Up. One, up, and that's 30 seconds. How are we doing? Four, three, two, one. Oh, if you can't make 30, just do the best you can. Four, don't take it all the way up. Two, one, up, up. Four, three, two, one, up, up. Four, three, two, one, up. One more to go. Four, three, two, one. Up and up. Oof. Ready for the other side? Same thing. So if you're, again, you're using the tube, step on it with this foot for this arm, but step further more than if you're using a weight. You ready, guys? Go. Up, up, down four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, one. Up, up, four, three, two, I hold this elbow just to keep my arm from moving outward. I want to keep it in the same place. So it's just the tricep working and it puts less stress on my shoulder. So four, three, two, one, up, and that's 30 seconds. Four, three, two, one, up, up, four, three, two, one, up, up, four, Three, two, one, up. I bet two more. Four, three, two, one, up. Up one more. Four, three, two, one, up and done. All right. Whew. I hope that was a good workout for you. We're gonna stretch out, stretch out those calves. They've been probably 
yearning for a stretch. So really reach back their feet parallel. Let's open up the chest too at the same time as you lean into it. So I hope the jump roping gave you just some more ideas for working out. Again, you don't have to do the whole thing all at once. You could take bits of it and do your own interval workout with weights and things like that. And let's go to the other side, same thing. Feet parallel, gonna open the chest and then push back and open to the shoulders. So you might do 15 on, 15 off for two minutes and then pick up some weights and do something or two and then do another two minutes of jump roping. There's no one perfect workout. Just trying to give you ideas that you can do things in the time that you're given with the equipment you're given. All right, let's get into your hamstrings. So I'm gonna turn sideways still, and just hinge and send the sternum forward. I'm gonna relax that foot now. All workouts are perfect. And then let's do the other leg. Again, just relax this ankle, hinge forward, send the chest upward. All right, let's get into the IT band. So one foot in front of the other, and you're gonna push into the hip of the foot that's behind the other one. And then I'm just gonna go the other way. So this hip I'm gonna to push towards you and the arm I'm gonna push away from you. And then stretch out the quad, quadricep. So if you were doing the jumping with me, with or without a rope, like I said, your calves tomorrow are gonna go Arr! So make sure you drink plenty of water to that tonight and tomorrow. That'll help it a little bit. It may not prevent some cramping, but it'll help it. And don't give up. It doesn't take a lot of time to really get good at it. And since fitness centers and gyms are not open, you can take a jump rope out somewhere and do it. So you don't have to do it in your own home if you don't want to. Let's stretch out those triceps. Now, like I said, if you're doing it on concrete or marble, you want to try to move to something soft. Like if there is a, I don't think you could do it on grass, maybe some dirt or artificial turf. Certainly wouldn't do it in mulch. Ooh, it'd kick it up and you'd be sniffing it. Now let's do the other side. You should have seen the dog hair flying around. Next time. All right, and then your upper back. On the other side. And then your neck. What also might be a little sore tomorrow is your wrist, but not in a bad way. You're not used to doing this motion. You're used to doing this motion all the time. So moving it around in a different way is not a bad thing, but it just may be a little sore tomorrow, or you may feel like, God, my wrist feel weak. It's gonna probably just last a day. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. I hope that was fun. If it's not fun, I hope you got a good workout nonetheless. And again, think like, I don't, you don't have to do the whole thing all at once. You can take bits, do something else, take another bit, do it again. You know, just get better at each move the more you do it. All right, so I hope to see you tomorrow for step and Friday for a sunrise stretch. Hope you're all doing well, taking care of yourselves and taking care of the world around you. I know you're doing that. 
All right, be well, see you soon, bye.